Hello, this is Grandmaster Ted Gamadella, and I want to talk about respect in the martial arts and how you actually show it. You know, I've been getting a lot of feedback about my articles on respect in the martial arts, the videos and articles I did, and everyone seems to agree that not enough respect is shown in the martial arts, and everyone agrees that it shouldn't be that way. Yet time and time again, the next day or the next week, I find some of the strongest supporters not showing respect to other martial arts students, teachers, or styles. And I have to wonder how this is possible. How can such great martial artists, grandmasters, masters, and black belts all agree that more respect should be given and shown and taught in the martial arts to all students, styles, and people, and then one week later make some nasty comment about some other person, style, or technique? And after much thought and prayer, we've decided that they simply don't understand what respect means and how to show it. So this article and this video is an attempt to explain, in the simplest of terms, because I'm a simple guy, how to show respect to other martial artists, styles, and teachers. Number one, do not make negative comments. If they suck in your eyes, remember they're heroes in the eyes of their students. If they have bad form in your eyes, please remember their students had no form until they began training with them. If they can't beat up your style or their teacher can't beat up your teacher, please remember that what they're teaching is helping shape the lives of hundreds and even thousands of young men and women who are significantly better off by having trained with them than they were when they had no training and no teacher. Number two, do not judge other teachers to standards you make up or your peers make up. We know it's hard not to belittle styles and teachers who are not as great as you are, but everyone can't be a world champion like you and do double backflips, although even those people who can do double backflips can still be made fun of by you. Everyone can't do the splits and break ten inches of concrete. Everyone is not the greatest and up to your incredibly high standards. Some people actually have physical limitations and less physical ability than you appear to demand from everybody else. When you point your finger at them, remember you're pointing four back at yourself. Number three, do not laugh at techniques and styles you know nothing about. We know this is a hard one. Those fighters who can't break water, those teachers who look stupid and who are obviously ugly and weak, all those students who can't do the first form just like you and whose forms make you laugh and laugh until you realize your forms suck just as much as them. You know, we actually saw an 8th degree black belt test, which is not a test, but a demo, on YouTube and the comments were incredible. White belts called him out. Black belts made fun of him and all their Facebook and YouTube buddies agreed that this old fool should either die, go away, and send his supposed black belt back to the cleaners. Amazing. Someone with 45 years of teaching experience is dissed by total strangers who don't like his demo because it wasn't up to their impossibly high standards. Number two, do not judge other teachers to standards you make up or your peers make up. We know it's hard not to belittle styles and teachers who are not as great as you are, but everyone can't be a world champion like you and do double backflips, although even those people who can do double backflips can still be made fun of by you. Everyone can't do the splits and break ten inches of concrete. Everyone is not the greatest and up to your incredibly high standards. Some people actually have physical limitations and less physical ability than you appear to demand from everybody else. 
when you point your finger at them, remember you're pointing four back at yourself. Number three, do not laugh in techniques and styles you know nothing about. We know this is a hard one. Those fighters who can't break water, those teachers who look stupid and who are obviously ugly and weak, all those students who can't do the first form just like you and whose forms make you laugh and laugh until you realize your forms suck just as much as them. You know, we actually saw an 8th degree black belt test, which is not a test, but a demo, on YouTube, and the comments were incredible. White belts called him out. Black belts made fun of him, and all their Facebook and YouTube buddies agreed that this old fool should either die, go away, and send his supposed black belt back to the cleaners. Amazing. Someone with 45 years of teaching experience is dissed by total strangers who don't like his demo because it wasn't up to their impossibly high. Now we could go on and on, but feel the need to stop and ask you to stop. Stop criticizing, stop making negative comments, stop, stop talking smack about other martial artists online and in your mind. Stop being self-righteous and self-serving. Show respect to all martial artists in all styles. Please remember, our Lord Jesus Christ showed respect and love to everyone he met. And he never met anyone not worth damning except his mother. The next time you see a martial artist whom for some reason you feel tempted to say something bad about, stop. Breathe. Pray. And show respect in your heart and in your words. This is Grandmaster Gambardella. I'll see you next time.